Welcome back, Brush Monkeys, and we're on to the next segment of the Realm of Chaos Wrath and Rapture box set. And we are painting the fiends of Slanesh. Um, these are these are the big boys or big girls, or uh, not really entirely sure what to call them. <laughs> they are they are some monstrous monstrous miniatures. Um, this is this is the old Realm of Chaos. Uh, book the old uh, slaves to darkness book from way back in the day and this is what the fiends look like back then and this is what they look like now a little bit different a little bit longer tail um, not quite as colorful as uh, some of the others I think I'm probably going to make these much more straightforward um, modern paint job. I'm going to start out airbrushing the the undersides of them, Slanesh Gray and the back plates here, um, Demon Ed Hyde. Um, I noticed there's a lot of places where like right here it looks like most of the leg is covered in, in a stocking, in both of them. Um, it kind of looks like the tail is too. So that may just be gloss black. So there's going to be a lot of gloss black on there. The um, claws here are going to be demon at hide. The face is going to be much more like the steeds of Slanesh, where it's kind of demon at hide on the top and Slanesh gray on the bottom. It's probably not going to be as much of a riot of color on these. Um, I'm thinking most of the armor plates are probably going to be uh, metallic purple. Um, because they're going to be on over the black stockings I may make the plate entirely metallic purple and put some gold trim on it or something uh, I'm gonna look around online for some uh, inspiration to see what these are kind of supposed to look like maybe look through the Realm of Chaos books that came with the Wrath and Rapture box set see on those because I've, I've got two beasts of, or two Fiends of Slanash is these two, and then this one is what's called a um, Blissbringer, which I'm guessing is kind of a leader of the fiends sort of thing. I'm not entirely sure what the deal is with that. So I didn't play Slanash back in the days. I played Corn, so this is going to be an interesting little challenge to uh, paint something that's not uh, not my usual thing and not not uh, as colorful as some of the rest of them. It's going to be mostly these kind of purplish grays and blacks and that kind of thing. Um, but uh, I, I noticed a couple of them have uh, it looks like they have multiple eyes. It looks like four eyes. So there'll be more chance to do that Alice Cooper thing around the eyes um, that I did before. And uh, it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be an interesting little challenge to paint something quite that large. I've never painted a, a miniature that big. And when we get the Fiends of Slanesh done, the last part of the Slanesh side of the army in the Realm of Chaos, Rapture, and Rapture is this lady right here, the Infernal and Rapturous. And you can see I've already got her gown mostly done because of the, she was part of the um, airbrush fade. That I did on the other two banners as well as her dress and I've already got her on a handle <laughs> she uses the same palette as the rest of them so yeah that's what I'm gonna gonna end up doing um, just wanted to make a quick introduction video to show the the next project and uh, let me go ahead and break out the airbrush and get started on that all right see you in a bit All right, so I'm back and I've got the, at least the Demonette Hide and the Slanesh Gray airbrushed onto these boys, uh, girls, whatever they are, um, hermaphroditic demons. <laughs> and they look pretty good. Um, there's a little bit of cleanup to be done on the transition between the two colors. Uh, the spines on the back being Demonette Hide and the flesh actually being Slanesh Gray. A lot more got sprayed down the legs than actually needed to be. The legs are mostly encased in what look like stockings. 
that are appear to be nailed into the skin, which is kind of gross. But like this one, I got to do a little more demonette hide along those fins. But I think the fins are mostly going to be. I just got to do it along the side here, because along the fins themselves are going to be the uh, nightmare black that the hair is going to be. And of course, these horns will be that incubi darkness. I think they're really going to look good. I'm really pretty happy with how they're going to look. Um, I've decided I'm going to do these stockings in black, and then these armor plates that are on on their legs, are, and sometimes on their shoulders. Like this one's got one on its shoulder. I'll do those in the metallic purple, make them stand out a little bit. But uh, yeah, I think they're going to look pretty spiff. Looking forward to painting these. These are going to be fun. So I'm going to take a break right now and then and uh, go put on the base coats and I'll check back in when I get the base coats done on them. Alright, well, see you soon. Okay, we're back and the um, base coats are all done on the Fiends of Slanesh and they're looking pretty good. Um, I think I might regret doing the golds at this early stage, but because um, I'm going to need to shade wash purple over where some of the gold metallics are but uh, if need be I can always go back and touch those up a little later um, but right now they're they're done and looking pretty good they're looking pretty spiffy um, I used a brighter gold on this time this one I used a retributor armor gold rather than the uh, usual um, the Balthazar gold that I use my gold base and I don't think I'm necessarily gonna need a whole lot of highlights on that I think they look pretty good the way they are so we'll see what happens when I shade wash it, but um, I think for the most part they're they're looking pretty spiff. So I'm going to go ahead and shade wash these, and we'll come back when uh, when they're all shade washed and start doing the highlights. All right, all right we're back and we're all shade washed up, and um, they look pretty good. Um, they're starting to darken up. The shade wash still needs to dry a little bit, but they're looking pretty good. Um, I did uh, Drinky Violet for the the majority of the body and the body, the armor, and the um, metallic purples. All kind of they're all various shades of purple. So I did them all with Drinky Violet, and then when I layer them later, they'll they'll stand out a little more. I think the purple metallics are going to be left the way they are. Some of the purple fabric, things like that, are going to be layered up a little bit. But they look pretty good. The um, tongues I did with Karaburg Crimson and the larger parts of the gold like this guy's crown or uh, this got a little tail ring here, the thing on the thigh of this one. Some of those larger parts of gold I did with uh, Reichland Flesh Shade. So I'll probably be layering them up a little bit too just to shine them up a little bit. I may do a dry brush of, um, of uh, Golden Griffin. So I'm going to go ahead and put that out. But they're looking pretty good. Uh, like I said, the shade wash still needs to dry, and um, so I'm going to take a break while that happens. And then after we finish layering everything and getting the highlights back on there, I'm going to go through and paint the gemstones with. Uh, I've got Tamiya Clear Red here that I've decanted into this bottle, and I think that's going to look really good as a spot color for all the little gemstones all over them. It's going to stand out nicely against that purple and the gold, and. Uh, and I think that's really going to make the gemstones pop. So, um, like I said, I'm going to take a break, let the uh, shade washers dry, and then we'll come back, and uh, hopefully the wife won't be mowing outside, because that's kind of loud. Um, <laughs> we'll come back and uh, take a look at them when they're done being highlighted. All right, bye. All right, as you can see, we've got the flesh highlighted on our fiends. And the gold is highlighted. I'm trying to get these where you can kind of see them. Flesh is highlighted. The gold is highlighted. All the gemstones are painted. And they look really, really good. I really like those red gemstones as a spot color standing out all over these uh, girls, guys, whatever they are, beasts. So all that's left now really is the basing of them. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, spread the glue on the bases here 
and then um, take a break and when we come back well I'm going to spread the glue and then take a break and let the glue dry and then I'll come back and put the texture paint on and um, let that crackle so uh, the next time the next segment of the video will be the texture paint applied to the bases and then we'll come back and uh, when they've dried glue the rocks and tufts or matte seal it glue the rocks and tufts on all that kind of thing all right okay okay so we got the glue on the base and I just want to make a quick note about the glue it doesn't really seem to matter to the crackle medium how thick the glue is on there just that you have it on there um, so it's not necessary to like slop it on real thick or anything just get a nice focus on getting a nice even coating on there and since it dries clear it doesn't matter if you get it on the feet a little bit um, like I did there it just you just have to have it on there um, see that's a pretty nice even coat and you can barely see it on there it's just a little sheen because it's still wet so it's not really necessary to have it on there real thick um, the crackle medium apparently only cares that you have glue on the base in order to make it crack um, and the crackle medium has to be put on fairly thick to get good deep cracks on it um, so that's another thing uh, just a quick just just a quick note on that um, so the glue is on the bases I'm going to take a break now and let the glue dry and then I'll come back and I'll put the we're going to do the same thing we did with the uh, seekers we're going to do a combination of a ghrelin earth and a ghrelin badlands put the badlands around their mostly around their feet and then the ghrelin earth around the rest of it and then we'll put on some uh, we'll glue on some tufts um, uh, no, this one ain't good. Using the flower tufts. Those. Uh, there we go. Ooh, get some more of those flower tufts. Flower tufts. So yeah, we'll do those. Um, we'll do a little bit of the green texture paint in places when that dries. We'll shade wash the whole thing with uh, Agrax Earth Shade, and then we'll do the Niblet Green and Pirate Skull uh, dries dry brushes on the base so still quite a bit of work to do but not anything terribly time consuming so anyway like I said I'm gonna take a break and let the glue dry and then we'll come back and put the texture paint on the bases all right all right so we've got the uh, the glues dry and we've got the texture put on the bases you can see I did the uh, agrelin badlands around the bases around their feet I got some on their feet um, and then I did the agrella and earth around the outside of that uh, when that dries we'll put the uh, the green texture paint the luster and undergrowth in little patches here and there and uh, and we'll also glue down some excuse me while I get in front of the camera here glue down some uh, rocks from the basing kit I don't know why I keep putting that away because I know I'm going to need it again keep putting away the flowers too but uh, yeah so we'll put put down the luster and undergrowth next and when that dries we will um, shade wash the entire thing with the agrax earth shade then we'll dry brush uh, the two colors probably put these on a, on corks to paint the base bands and then after we matte seal everything we'll glue down the rocks and the tufts and we'll be done so they're coming along pretty swiftly um, I'm hoping to get these done today and then tomorrow I've got um, tomorrow I've got something else planned so see if we can get that uh, wrapped up there all right welcome back and uh, we have got the uh, bases are all nice and uh, dry now I've got the green parts put on them as you can see and I've got them all shade washed so they're all good to go and I think they're about ready for uh, the dry brush and like I said we're using uh, niblet green on the green parts and tyrant skull on all the rest of it and so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'm gonna put them on corks I've got my trusty cork bases here to uh, 
cork handles to do the uh, the base edging on them and so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then they'll be done well they'll be ready for matte seal so I'm gonna dry brush do the edges and then we'll come back and take a look at how they look and uh, we'll be ready to put some put some tufts and uh, rocks on them all right see you soon all right we're back and the base bands are painted as you can see and the uh, ground and the uh, texture paints are all dry brushed and I've hit it with a coat of our army painter anti-shine so I'm going to take a break now and let that dry and when I come back we'll glue on the tufts and the rocks that we've got for it. the flower tufts and our trusty little bits of slate rock from the Citadel basing kit for those all right right now I need to get out of the shop because those fumes are kicking see you soon all right brush monkeys we have the bases done they're all nice and dry brushed up they've got the rocks and tufts added to them so these fiends are finished and they look pretty good there um, Matt sealed them all up last night and just got done putting the, the rocks and stuff on their base and they're looking pretty vicious they're gonna look pretty good on the tabletop close up with this other one kind of wish these little web cameras focus better I can give you a better view of some of them but you, can, you kind of get the idea looking at them they look pretty yeah uh, there we go get a light on them, that helps check that out these extra large handles I bought more of these extra large handles from Citadel you might remember my review of them these things are fantastic for these because they've got nice big grippy bases and, uh, I think they came out pretty well it looks pretty spiff and I touched up the eyes just a little bit with the base paint just to brighten them up a little bit after I put that shade wash on them so so yeah I'm pretty happy with how those came out I think they look pretty spiff for somebody who doesn't paint slanesh figures a whole lot these actually came out really nicely so that's it for the fiends this is gonna be the last uh, or not the last video it's um the fiends are done next we have the uh, infernal and raptures which is this lady right here it's gonna be paint this is going to be the next video, so we'll start it on that, on her next week, and uh, so there you go. Once we finish the Infernal and Rapture, so we'll be finished with the Rapture part of the Wrath and Rapture box set, and then we'll start in on all the uh, Demons of Corn, the Flesh Hounds, the Juggernauts, the uh, uh, Bloodletters, and their character Karanak, the Alpha Leader of the Flesh Hounds. So tune in next week for the Infernal and Rapturous, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye. Hey, Brush Monkeys. Uh, Tom from Flying Monkey Studios here. If you like what you see, click like. If you uh, want to find out when uh, new videos get posted, click subscribe. Comment below on what you want to see on future videos. Visit our Patreon site for uh, lots of ways that you can support me in doing what I do. You can also visit our Instagram and Facebook pages to see all the miniatures that I paint on this channel and see how you can get your hands on one of your own. Uh, so thanks a lot for your time and thanks for watching my videos and I will see you guys later. Bye.